bringing some more people into Vegas. Yay. You guys ready for a little uh, little lunch? Found a vegan restaurant, the Modern Vegan. We're gonna try it out, see what we get. Bam's got some stuff they're gonna go do, and uh, I'm going to SEMA. That's where I'm going. Little business, little play, little fun. I can't park. <laughs> this ever truck has ruined us. I mean, it don't. Yeah, that's 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 not that's not how you park. Dang it. I'm vlogging. I think we're two for two on vegan restaurants. Minnesota, now here. You wouldn't think anything much from like seeing outside. It looks very just like, I guess modern and you go inside and it's, it's a spot. I think you have to drive me. I was like, ah, we're not stopping. I know. I was like, when Molly gets in this driver's seat, it's going to be totally different. Well, because you let off the gas. It just keeps in, rolling. <laughs> in a cyber truck and slows down like a brake. And this one, it's just, it's, it's extending. It just wants to keep going. Vegas, baby. All right, so Molly's got some plans to go to the Hoover Dam. We're going to go to Lake Mead and go to the Visitor Center, which has a Junior Ranger program there, so then they can get Junior Ranger badges. And then we're going to go over and see the Hoover Dam. That's awesome. I'm jealous. I, I was like, Jerem, what do you think is going to be more fun, SEMA? Or the Hoover Dam, and he's like, Hoover Dam sounds pretty fun. I mean, I am a guy, and you know, I, uh, I've been wanting to go to SEMA, so that's what yeah, we're doing. I know. Molly just dropped me off in the middle of the road. They're gonna go vlog, they're gonna go to the Hoover Dam. I'm gonna go to SEMA. Hope you guys have a good time. I've been wanting to come to SEMA for quite some time, and it's cool to be able to, to do this now, work with brands, and uh, shake some hands. I thought, oh, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to film this, this, and this only. Forget about it. You come in here, and it's going to be a little overwhelming. And that's exactly what this is. Everywhere you look. Who of you guys remember when we had the fifth wheel with the lifted truck? So I actually had a McGoy's lift on that truck. Super highly recommend McGoy's if you guys do have a lifted vehicle. I towed, I would say, thousands and thousands of miles on a eight inch lift with 24 by 14s with like 38s. It literally rode like a dream. This is basically what my truck setup was, was just like this. They upgraded their whole entire system and this is basically what the truck looked like. Super, super cool. Beautiful. Maybe we get back into the diesel life. So two goals, look up some EV stuff because we are in the EV world and we're in the diesel pusher world but this isn't about motorhomes this is about vehicles so we're gonna go see what we can find cyber truck okay we do have a cyber truck we gotta find cyber truck stuff right and then I gotta find my friends at Gen Y as you guys saw a few videos ago we worked with Gen Y so we're gonna go find them and we're gonna go say hello How many of you remember when we used to flat tow the diesel behind the diesel pusher? What if we flat towed, I don't know, what do you say, this? Could you imagine that behind a diesel pusher? And hey, you got the Gen Y. The Cybertruck was supposed to be at SEMA, but the crunch was too real. There was no way we were gonna be able to get it here in the little amount of time that we had. So we were gonna be in a certain booth, we were gonna do wheels and tires, I, for one, wanted it to be wrapped, fully done and completed, but there was no way we could get the truck here and have everything completed in two weeks. It just, just wouldn't have happened. But on another note, speaking of Cybertruck, check this out. I saw this online and I'm kind of liking it. Let's get some wide angles so you can check it out. Some people might say why, but I would say why not? I mean, my goodness, jeez. This thing literally looks brand new. There's still plastic on the seats. Oh yeah, they literally just went and picked this up. They made a dually out of it. You can see everything right there. Still has all the, the wrapping on the pillar. That's crazy. Look at the booty on this thing. I didn't even see the system inside. It must have done a pass through because I literally have thought about this. It's insane. I mean, what do we need this for? You know, but hey, why not? 
crazy to see like you know you have a cyber truck there you have it i guess first dually cyber truck what do you do i wonder if the uh full self-driving still works i'm sure it does that's insane this guy polished this entire truck we should do this to the cyber truck because basically it's just metal up underneath and you polish it out hey you got a mirror that's wild that's some work sit here and just polish and polish all day basically take the paint off here's what everyone always compares the cyber truck to they're like why'd you buy a delorean i'm like why not remember when this came out everybody thought it was weird look it's iconic cyber truck will be like this guys what do you think Old oh, back to the future let's go <laughs> there we go another little decked out cyber truck kind of cool it's got the unplugged performance stuff on it got wheels what do you guys think uh, some people aren't fans but i don't know i haven't seen one decked out in person yet got a nice little tire mount little beefy little setup okay see my only concern is whenever you start having bigger wheels and tires is i don't know if i could fit this on the actual trailer that's what the problem would be but uh, hey it does look cool i mean but that how to pick i mean come on the cyber no i'm just kidding it'd be obviously be a lamborghini gotta tell you guys a funny story about a lamborghini but i don't know we're focusing on EV, seeing friends, and checking some new stuff out. This DeLorean here is a little bit more customized. Super cool looking. Look at the interior on that. Oh yeah, motor swap. <laughs> now that's something I can get behind. My goodness. The ideas are endless, guys. Put your mind to it. You can do whatever you want. Came to peep the Cybertruck over here. It says everybody kind of crying because he has the hair slammed in service mode. And you can pretty much just slam it on nothing, which is awesome. And it has people wondering, how do you turn? How do you turn? It's such an illusion and it's super, super fun. This won't fit on the trailer or I would have already done it. That's crazy. Since we have a Cybertruck, I wanted to come and see different options for wheels and tires and basically see exactly what people are doing. I know you're going to have to run a spacer if you go anything bigger than a 35. If not, you're just going to be rubbing. But here's another Cybertruck has a gloss wrap on it with, uh, with a nice wheel setup. In my opinion, the Cybertruck just looks so much better when it's lifted. Every time I go to a parking lot or I get out of one, I always lift the truck up all the way so it gives it that more beefy off-road look because let's just be real they just look way better lifted and well look way better wrapped yeah we got to get the cybertruck wrapped asap this just changes the game and the way that it looks versus having the og cybertruck almost looks like they painted all the plastic too ppf on it but yeah there you guys go another cybertruck 450 with the lift mark my words if we go back to another fifth wheel this is definitely what the tow vehicle is going to look like. Before you say anything, yes, you can tow with it. Definitely beautiful. Jeez, man. All right, plot twist. What if we wrap the cyber truck in granite or marble? I don't know, but do we do like black marble with the veins? Man, I miss the truck game. Oh my gosh, I miss it. I don't know guys, Woo! I gotta get back into it. I mean, if I had to get another Bronco again, this one's set up for sure. Got the Gen Ys, bada bing, bada boom, bada bam. Gen Ys the only way to go. Go show Gen Ys some love guys, go show them some love. Woo! All right, I'm gonna walk around, shoot a little bit of B-roll. I'm gonna move the camera over to Molly, let Molly go play for a little bit. We're gonna get a, a, a little angle of Molly's view for the vlog. So I'm gonna shoot as much as I can here. We got a bunch of music going on, but I'm just gonna show you what whatever I capture. So let's go ahead and pass the camera to Molly. into area 51. You think it's area 51? 
danger, extreme conditions, stop, do not hike, June to September, heat, kills. Well, September, we're safe. I have a security checkpoint right before you go over to the Hoover Dam, but everything out here is so pretty. The quickest way up is definitely the stairs, but this one is wheelchair accessible. You can always walk back and forth if you want to, but the stairs just go straight down. We were at the top of that bridge right there. Look how pretty that bridge is. These views are so pretty. It was $10 to park. The National Park Pass does not work here. So you still have to pay $10 to park to go and walk over the Hoover Dam. Looking down, because I don't want to be tripping. I mean, we make for a great video. <laughs> all the way down to the ground. We were up there looking at the overlook and now we're going to go all the way down here to go be a visitor. So they said that the visitor center is closed until spring. It's under construction, but normally you would go and take the elevators down to go to this building and then go and explore the visitor center, which we always find it very helpful and informational when we go to the visitor centers and learn about stuff. But we're gonna walk over the bridge and look at those views. Parked in this building for ten dollars. This is a visitor center that'll be available in spring. The Hoover Dam. You can walk all the way across. We're in Arizona right now. Isn't that cool? It looks like two layered cake. Check this Jeep out with the tracks. What is up with this? What do you guys think about this? The train horns underneath. Jeez, let's go. All right. Hummer EVs are starting to grow on me a little bit, especially this color here. My goodness, they just look, I don't know, should I go test drive one? These look really, really good. I've always been a Hummer guy anyways. My goodness. So you almost need like two weeks here. I just stopped, I was on the way to Gen Y, but look at this Bronco. I mean, talk about gorgeous. Kinda makes me miss the Bronco just a little bit, but I'm sure she's doing all right. Got the Rough Country tire holder. This is exactly what I wanted the Bronco to look like. Not too big, not too small, super wide with the gold. Oh man, super pretty. Wow. See, now we got another Cybertruck. We have to peep all of them. Everyone we see, we gotta stop and look at. Look at these lug nuts. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something quick with mine. I gotta wrap it. I know I keep saying it. I know it, but I gotta do it. Check out this quality of work. My goodness. Like the time this took is just astronomical. I can't even fathom how long this would have taken. Let's go peep the inside. Look at the width of these tires. Peep underneath a little bit too. Man. The work that went into this is just, I can't even, I don't, I don't even know. Wow. See what I'm saying? You can't just like get away. Now we got like what? We got a Rolls Royce over here in the wheel booth. See, I just, now I'm back and forth. Oh, Will is gonna love the interior of this. Keep the inside. Add a little pink, a little customizing over here. Nice little rolly. Absolutely gorgeous. We have made it into the West Hall. Check out this map that I'm putting on the screen right now. You can't fathom how big this place is until you come walk in. So earlier Molly dropped me off. I wanna say somewhere here. And I made my way in. No, actually I was here and then I made my way in. Gen Y is over here 
Gotta go say hey to my friends. Who needs a garage when you have one of these? We could travel full time with one of these, right? A car capsule. So basically, this is awesome. You wanna keep your car extra, extra clean. That's in your garage. Keep it away from all the, you know, dirt, weather, whatever. This is a car capsule. Super awesome. I've actually seen some of these, but never in person. Peep the Lambo inside. Heck yeah. They've actually just debuted a police car. It's pretty cool though. Yeah, so here is a Cybertruck police car. They have all the switches right there. Very, very cool. They've got the cage in the rear. Fully outfitted Cybertruck. Oracle Public Safety. That is awesome. Being a Cybertruck owner, it's really, really cool to see like technology in the cyber trucks you hear all day look at that trash can look at that garbage can but people stop in their tracks and they they double take them so say they don't like them but they sure do double take and they take photos so i don't know something to say about that spotted my favorite hitch company let's go by and say hello A show without some RVs. We got the Earth Roamers. I don't know if you guys remember the Earth Roamers were at Tampa RV, I would say, a year or two ago. But uh, let me take you in one of these and show you exactly what an Earth Roamer is. Check it out, check it out. Got the Earth Roamer. Let's go in here and take a little gander. Oh, yeah, you got some quality, quality right here. Everything you need to hit the road. If I had to do a truck camper, but definitely be just like this wow super awesome check this out got a full shower right here got a nice seat at the bottom got a hidden little potty little area got the surveillance right there got a nice queen size mattress little pass through to get to the cab wow super awesome would be awesome to find one of these for the cyber truck could you guys imagine if you had one of these oh my gosh i mean we already have the bottom that comes down the little rollers but having this with the actual slant would be super super cool overland vehicle systems when we had the bronco i wanted to do like a full off-road off-grid setup but got that cyber truck email and i had to do it because i mean gotta be different right you gotta be different whoa 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 speaking of broncos let's go check these out oh my gosh did i make the wrong move getting rid of my bronco absolutely gorgeous love this blue color what do you guys think about that blue with the matching grill wow look at that absolutely stunning yeah broncos are the way to go jeep versus bronco definitely a bronco guy would you guys put a rooftop tent on the Lambo? This looks like a single, single person rooftop. Uh oh, peep another cyber truck. Let's see what's going on over here. It looks like we got a wrap going down. We gotta get the cyber truck wrapped. All right, this is a sign. I gotta get it done. That's a really cool color. Got a live wrap going down. I absolutely just love the way this looks. Beefy, nice setup. I mean, it just looks stock now. You got one that's compared to one that's actually wrapped. Just looks so much better. Look at all the cyber trucks. Let's go. Got the gold. See, I think about getting rid of the cyber truck and then I see another cyber truck in person with a wrap, wheels and tires, and then I just want to keep it. Maybe it's just, I like to be different. I think we're good. Okay, good to go, good to go. A little early chilly Vegas morning. Yes, I go. Good morning, good morning. So the rental car has been returned. We are heading to the shuttle and then the airport. What's up? Of course, yawning. Uh, we're all yawning early morning, but the Airbnb we have been at has zero blinds. Well, there's blinds, but they're wide open and the curtains wake us up every morning, which 
we got things coming up where we need to be waking up early anyways. So early risers, it is. It's good training. It's good. It's good. Oh, peep the sun, peep the sun. Oh, let's go get a shot of this. Love it. All right, load up. We're going to Disney. <laughs> From the desert to the snow, you know the rules, if I can see my breath. <laughs> Last and final straw. I'm like, I kind of like it. It's a little chilly. Hey, thanks for your help today. Have a good day. Now we're back where we started. It's like deja vu. I found two pennies. Ooh, are they lucky? They're only as lucky as you make them. Yeah. I feel like we were just right here. <laughs> she did? She's been everywhere. She's been everywhere you've been. I'm glad she had a good time. Everybody have a good time? Yeah. All right. More adventures await. Where to next? I think some warm weather. A beach. Where do you want to go? Home. To your own bed? That's a good idea. Yeah. I said I want to go home. All right, we'll go home. Yay! Whoa, a cyber truck. <laughs> Whoa, Lily, look, a cyber truck. Oh, I wonder who that is. All right, how many sentry modes? Um, 35. 30, I don't think so. We're kind of tucked in over here. Almost looks like a supercharging station. 10 or 15, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, we'll take a little peek at them. Ah, feels good to be back. So this airport that we were at only charges you $5 for the entire time you're gone. So once you start the charge, it's only five bucks and you can charge over and over and over again. So that huge convenience. And you come back ah, to a topped off cyber truck. Let's go. Three century modes. Only three? 35. We were all wrong. 